I'm Deanne O'Donnell. This is what's happening in your news across Nevada. The Nevada Department of Transportation is reminding state residents that there is one month left to enter a raffle to receive a Welcome to Nevada sign as the old obsolete highway signs are redesigned and replaced. The iconic signs depicting a solitary prospector have stood at many interstate and freeway entrances into Nevada, welcoming drivers to the state for approximately 25 years. The signs will be replaced by new welcome signs designed by Nevada High School graphic artists through a contest. These new signs will be an important representation of the new Nevada that better reflects our state brand, a world within a state apart. The existing signs that have stood on Nevada roadways for many years are a source of pride and state identity for Nevadans, which is why they wanted to share them and offer a chance for people to bring a bit of the state history home. Free entry is available through 5 p.m. on Friday, October 21st at Nevada.com. Dot com or give them a call at 775-888-7000. Because of ongoing drought conditions resulting in insufficient water to support the wild horses in the Big Sand Spring Valley, the Bureau of Land Management has begun gathering and providing emergency care for up to 300 wild horses. The gather is expected to begin on September 20th in the Pancake HMA located about 30 miles west of Ely or 80 miles northeast of Tonopah, Nevada. An estimated 1,800 wild horses reside within the Pancake HMA based on a March 2016 inventory flight. More than 1,000 of the horses were in the Big Sand Spring Valley area. The HMA has an approximate management level of 240 to 493 wild horses. Precipitation in May and June of this year filled or partially filled catchments in the Big Sand Spring Valley area, which normally provide water for a large portion of the resident horse population in that area. These catchments are now dry, which has resulted in additional horses seeking water at the few available spring sources. Unemployment rates fell in all of Nevada's metro areas in August. The rates in Las Vegas and Carson City registered at 6 percent, while the rate in Reno is 4.9 percent. Unemployment rates are down across all 17 counties in Nevada, while we continue to see employers adding jobs throughout the state. Las Vegas employment increased by 5,300 jobs, and Reno Sparks gained a seasonally adjusted 1,000 jobs. This growth translates to 26,400 new jobs in Las Vegas year over year. Reno Sparks employment grew at 5.4 percent over the year, amounting to 11,400 new jobs. Whether you drive, bike, run, or walk, you may visit the Red Rock Na Canyon National Conservation Area free on National Public Lands Day. The Bureau of Land Management, in conjunction with other agencies within the Department of the Interior, will waive amenity-related fees for this Saturday, September 24th. Red Rock Canyon features Lead Gold Visitor Center, a scenic drive, miles of hiking and mountain bike trails, rock climbing, horseback riding, road biking, picnic areas, and nature observation opportunities. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.